let us look at some of the formulas that are used in profit and loss. So we'll solve this question and I'll tell you the formulas that are required. So if a cost price of an article is 400 rupees and the selling price is 500 rupees, calculate the following. You have to calculate profit or loss and profit or loss percentage. So the formula for profit is the selling price minus cost price. And if it is a loss, how do you know if there is a loss? Well, if the selling price is less than the cost price, then it is a loss. So the formula for loss is the cost price minus the selling price. So in this case, the selling price is greater than the cost price, which means there is a profit. So profit is equals to the selling price is 500 minus the cost price is 400. So the profit is 100 rupees. Now we have to calculate the profit percentage. Well, there is a formula for profit percentage. So profit percentage is equal to profit divided by cost price times 100. Well, keep in mind that profit or loss is always calculated upon the cost price. Hence, we have calculated profit percent on the cost price. So this is equal to profit is 100 rupees and the cost price is 400 rupees. So 100 upon 400 times 100. So the profit percentage is 25%. 100 by 4 is 25. Let us look at the formula for loss percent. It is the same as the formula that we used for profit percent, but in case of profit, we are using loss. So again, let me repeat, if the selling price is greater than the cost price, it means that there is a profit. So here SP is greater than CP. And if the selling price is less than the cost price, it means that there is a loss. And you always calculate profit percentage or loss percentage or profit or loss always on the cost price and not on the selling price. Okay, so we have another question. An article is sold at 10% profit. If the cost price is rupees 150, what is the selling price? Recall that profit is always calculated upon the cost price. So I have 10% profit. So it will be calculated on the cost price as well. So this article is sold at 10% profit. It means that the final price of this article, that is the selling price, will be equal to 10% increase in the cost price. So how do you write 10% increase in cost price? So selling price is equal to the cost price plus 10% of this cost price. So 10 upon 100 CP, right? So this is equal to the cost price is given to us, which is 150. So it is 150 plus 10% of 150. So it is 15 plus 150, that is 165. So selling price is 165 rupees here. So we have a formula for this also. It is basically a derivation of this thing itself. So if you have profit, then selling price is equal to 100 plus the profit percentage of the cost price. And if you have loss, then the selling price is equal to 100 minus the profit percentage of the cost price. So these two formulas are basically derived from this thing. So even if you don't remember them, you don't have to worry. Selling price is equal to cost price increased by its percentage in case of profit and in case of loss selling price is equal to cost price decreased by its percentage. So that's what we have here.